What's going on everyone, this is Rich, and as a college student, I believe a laptop should have these three attributes. Reliability, usability, and speed. And the new MacBook Air with the M1 chip definitely meets all these expectations and goes far beyond that. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at this laptop. But before we start, go down in the comment section down below. Maybe you have this laptop, or you're looking at getting it, or you just want to say hi. I read each and every one of your comments, so you know, feel free to talk. But enough of all that rambling, let's just get right into the review. Uh, first off, there's no doubt that Apple makes one of the best laptops on the market and you should expect nothing less with a new MacBook Air with the M1 chip. The laptop can be opened with just one finger and this is a granted feature that we take from Apple. Uh, you know, I gotta say every time I open it up, it feels like a breath of fresh air. It has a signature aluminum design that we expect from Apple that not only feels premium, but actually feels like you're getting your money's worth. Upon first glance, Apple is rocking a beautiful 13.3 inch 2560 by 1600 retina display with super thin bezels. It's sharp, don't touch it. And as a student, I can definitely say that this adds to the overall workflow experience. Say you're working on a research paper late at night or procrastinating watching YouTube videos on the side, having a beautiful display is just a nice added bonus, you know? The Air still rocks two USB-C ports, both supporting Thunderbolt 3 charging and video output, as well as a headphone jack on the right side. Uh, glad they didn't take that out yet. And the Magic Backlit keyboard feels so nice on the hand. I do recommend getting a keyboard cover to prevent spills and whatnot. Furthermore, there's a fingerprint scanner, and this has become a standard with Apple laptops and Past few years which makes signing in much faster. Speaker rails are on both sides of the laptop and they sound wonderful. And they also get pretty loud. Lastly, we can't forget about the giant force sensitive trackpad that is among my favorite on any laptop so far. So design is practically the same as we saw in the 2019 MacBook but if that wasn't enough for you, the performance will speak for itself. And what makes this 2020 MacBook Air different is that they're using their own M1 chip designed by Apple themselves. And for those of you who don't know why this is important, let me give you a brief synopsis. So before, Apple always used to rely on Intel to make their chips, and they were seriously held back by them. Politically, economically, and performancely speaking. I don't think that's a word. And Apple's limitations with Intel CPUs were, you know, parts not working harmoniously together. There were thermal problems. Apple was losing efficiency, underselling their battery life. Well, gone is that, and here is the new on one chip. And the results deliver. I'm talking blazing fast speeds while doing simple tasks like search the web, FaceTiming friends, working on research papers, to even bigger projects like video editing. It's impressive. And with the new M1 chip, you should expect a speedy and efficient workflow. You can browse as many tabs as you want without having any noticeable slowdowns. Additionally, I have the 256GB SSD version, which is the baseline model for storage. And with this amount, it's more than enough for what you need as a student. Considering how most of our photos, notes, and documents are already stored on the cloud, I don't really see a personal need to go any higher than this. And with all that power, shouldn't the battery life suffer? No. And the battery life is incredible. This MacBook Air boasts up to 18 hours of battery life, and they are not kidding. Like, you can use this laptop for two to three days without even charging it. For example, I tested this laptop out at 100% battery, and I used it around 46 hours, and I only went down an average of like 31 to 34% at the end of the day. As a college student, walking between classes, doing homework at the library, coffee shop, or anywhere else, I highly value the portability that the new MacBook Air offers. Only weighing around 2.8 pounds as compared compared to something like the Microsoft Surface Book 2, which is around 4.2 pounds. This is a major relief, as this laptop will fit easily in most backpacks without feeling any noticeable weight differences. You know, it's not even there, it's that light. And this is super important to a lot of other college students because if you're on the go, having a heavy laptop will definitely get burdensome. And keep in mind, the average textbook weighs anywhere between three to six pounds. All in all, the new MacBook Air with the M1 chip is definitely a great choice for students and everyone else. The design is literally a work of art. Everything from the nice keyboard to the super sharp retina display. And the M1 chip is definitely there. You can feel the power. Just take my word for it. But anyways, tell me what you guys think of this MacBook. Give me your thoughts. Uh, do you like it? Are you looking at getting it? Are you gonna wait till next year's new MacBook releases? Who knows? And personally, I think Apple is going to have a very hard time trying to one-up this laptop, being that it's an 8-core CPU with 7 cores in the GPU, and additionally, uh, I think it's around 3.2 gigahertz. Like, that's crazy speeds just coming out of this 
little guy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to go down and hit that like button as well as a subscribe, uh, as well as a subscribe button. Follow my Instagram too, you know, why not? And until next time guys, I will see you then.